Financial Literacy 101 for today. There are some people in the sweetest way possible with the sweetest tone of voice that have the most demonic spirits and will try to push your buttons and try to work your nerves honey you have to redirect them you have to pray before you talk to them especially if there's some people that you have to talk to that like an account representative and you have to talk to this person all the time and they're going to try to throw up to you what happened this year or what happened whatever stay focused When you start responding to that stuff, that's when you start getting upset and then that you be ready to cuss somebody out or something like that. You know how you know what I'm talking about. So I'm spending the whole video talking about this. When you on the phone with some of these people and they try in the sweetest way. I don't know these people sometimes act like they own the company, honey. Well, you can cuss people out. That's not going to help you. So I don't understand when people go out to these restaurants and the waitresses and the waiters make mistakes or they do some things and people call themselves putting them in place. Honey, with these look, honey, get it right attitudes and that waitress or the waitress can go right behind the closed door and spit in your drink. You better think about the stuff you do sometime, even when people don't get it right. You got to still have a good spirit because you can set yourself up and get food poisoning and all kind of stuff. You understand what I'm saying? So this is, yes, I'm talking about financial literacy 101. But that's all I want to say today. When you're making these phone calls and you have to deal with these people and you're trying the best you can, keep your dignity, keep your self-respect you take your power that you have. Don't let people talk down to you. Don't let people intimidate you. When you feel intimidated, sometimes you have to pause before you say something stupid. Or you say something you want to regret. You have to pause for the calls. And sometimes you don't want to be rude and you don't want to hang up on people. And when you talk to people, different people in a company and one person has told you this and the next person has told you that, I need it in writing. Can you send me an email? Can you send it in writing? Listen, sometimes you can call right back and talk to somebody different. And they will work with you better than that other person. But when you have an account specialist, they want to refer you. They want to put a note in the system if you call to refer the call to them so they can still do the same thing. And sometimes you have to, in the sweetest way, in the sweetest tone of voice, I need to speak to your supervisor. Bless your heart. You have done a most fabulous job today. But I'm a need, I need a little bit more service. But at the end of the day, some people want to see you lose and that's just the fact of life sometimes when you working and you've been working with certain companies for a long amount of time and they see you know whatever for whatever reason your history or whatever 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 want to throw it up to you and all that type of stuff you know they sometimes people just get tired And you have to be able to not only discern that spirit, stay focused when you're talking to your bill collectors or when you're trying to make arrangements or when you're trying to get caught up or when you're just seeing what you need to do to do these things that you have to do. You know, you be as sweet as you can. Kill them with kindness. Praise the Lord. How are you doing today? Sister, I didn't ask you that. Let's get back to what I can do and what I, you know what I'm saying. God bless you.